Hey everybody, it's Darcy, and I am the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, today's watercolor painting is on the American or North American honeybee. So sit back, relax. It's kind of painful to watch, but try and enjoy it anyway. Hope you have a great day. That's my dog. Can't wait till I'm done filming. She has to bark as I'm filming. Okay, so we're talking about bees today, honeybees specifically, because just so you know, there are 20,000 different species of bees, but there are actually only seven species of honeybees, bees that actually produce honey. And one of them is uh, that we might all be uh, know of in horror movies and stuff is the uh, killer bee, which is an African bee. It does produce honey, not as much as the honeybee, and it's actually the honeybee, the western honeybee, that is known for uh, pollinating crops and they uh, in 2014 they estimated that they pollinated roughly 200 billion dollars worth of crops so they're very important. Uh, some trivia about bees uh, they can fly about 15 miles per hour. A one colony can have up to 60,000 bees. They're, um, a queen bee um, is in charge she's obviously a female the worker bees are also female now they're the ones that go out and get all the pollen and create the honey and everything in the honeycomb as far as the male bees go they're basically just there to reproduce then they drop dead so the bee world is definitely run by the female so that's kind of neat they have their own sort of little language that they communicate with and uh, one of their defense modes is they can produce pheromones, uh, which lets the other bees know, hey, look at we're in trouble. And then that's what happens when a, for example, if you bump into a nest, uh, a bee nest, honeybee nest, or even a wasp nest, where all of a sudden they all go, hey, let's gang up on that guy or girl. It's these pheromones that alert other bees to come around them. The temperature of the hive, this is kind of neat, is always, always 93 degrees. In the winter, if it's cooler, then the, all of the, the worker bees surround the queen bee and keep her warm. And in the summer, if it's hotter than 93 degrees out, the bees fly around her and flap their wings and cool her down. So, but it is always a constant 93 degrees. Um, beeswax comes from their special little glands on their abdomens. You can actually see um, bees with, they have little clumps of honey stuck to their legs and they drop it off in the honeycombs. Um, it says a worker bee may visit 2,000 flowers per day. Um, the, uh, it's a, the queen can sort of pick and choose how she wants to create her hive. So for example, if she wants 40% uh, of the whole hive to be worker bees, she actually does that based on her breeding. And if she wants 30% uh, uh, drones or male bees for reproduction, she can do that as well. So that's kind of neat. They are neat freaks. They do tend to um, clean things up quite well. Um, they are distributed all over the world, but the um, North American honeybee is actually the most important of all the bees. And um, they are produce mostly, obviously everyone wants their honey, but there's also other products such as beeswax and stuff like that. So I did this watercolor. It's eight and a half by 11. There it is, you can see I uh, shrunk them down, copied a couple, and uh, photoshopped it on the back of a marigold there. It was fun. Uh, the one thing about this watercolor I found some difficulty with is bees have a lot of tiny little hairs, and that's very hard to replicate. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like stuff like this, or if there's anything you want me, uh, me to try and paint, let me know, and drop me a message. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day. See ya.